records that you may not know about John Leary, um, about its original design as a shelter for Dublin for, for the packet ships. And the packet ships weren't much bigger than the Brian Baru, and we can show how the design of Dunleary, 204 years later, still valid for operating a vessel like this. There's a lot of manual labour there, it takes six people to hoist the main, uh, so we won't put up the main, we'll be putting up the mizzen and we'll be putting up the shore stage. Put across, and depending on just uh, the set of the waves and the tide, I'm either going to go up through the donkey sound or up through the mugling sound. My preference for this trip is to go up through the donkey sound. One thing about the British did one thing in certain circumstances and that's about possibly but nothing to do with this railway uh, it's built by Irish company. Because uh, railways were private companies. Sorry, the engineer, I so said the engineer was, was <laughs> for the Wexford. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and, uh, so no, it, it, that's what we have to remember was the railways were private companies. A skilled archer can strike an enemy at distance, have an arrow in the air and a third ready to fire. A man of quality like myself, can fire 12 arrows in one minute. Now, this be where I spend much of my time on the battlements, as you can see. Of course, I shall also offer other services, uh, such as hair cutting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not for the hair cutting. <laughs> my lady, yeah. Now, who would like to go first? Uh, so to speak. My lady? Yeah. That is a nervous laugh, is it not? Will you do that? You're going, yeah? I'd look Are like I'm going. going. 